let's consider let's consider moments and center of mass for a rod of non-uniform density. So our situation is going to be we're going to have a rod situated from A to B along the x-axis. We're going to have a density function on the rod, which is going to depend on the point x that we're at. What I want to find is the center of mass. To find that, I'm going to need to figure out the moment about the origin and the total mass of the rod. So first, we'll go for the easier of the two. We're going to go after the total mass. In a situation where I have uniform density, our formula is going to be mass is equal to density times length. So we're going to make use of that formula and just approximate to get the mass of the entire rod. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply our limit process for integration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop my rod up to a bunch of little segments. And then we're going to estimate the mass for each of these little segments, add them up, and we'll take the limit as the segment's length goes down to zero. So let's take a look. Suppose I take one of these segments, say of length delta x, and contain the point x sub i then the mass is going to be roughly the density evaluated at x sub i. Since this is small enough, we might as well assume that it's not going to change too much. So we'll approximate it by rho of x sub i. And then that's just going to be times the length, which is delta x. So that's my element of mass that's going to be the mass of this little segment. To get the mass over the whole rod, we're just going to take the sum over all the segments. So we'll have a segment at each different xi. And then that's just going to be our approximation to the total mass. I take the limit as delta x goes to 0. That's part of my limit process. And so the translation is, wherever I see a sigma, I replace it with our integral sign going from a to b, the definite integral. Delta x goes to dx. And whatever's on the inside here, wherever I see an xi, I change that to x. So this will be our formula for total mass. For the moment about zero, same idea. The only thing I need now is a formula for my element of moment about zero. So recall that our formula for moment is going to be mass times distance from the point you're taking the moment about. In this case, mass we just saw we're going to approximate with rho of xi times delta x. And then if we take a look, the distance from the origin is going to be approximated by xi. We're going from 0 to xi. That length is going to be xi. So that's my element for moment about the origin for that, rec for that segment. To approximate the total moment about the origin, we're just going to sum up over all the segments. So we'll have all of these for each xi that we use. And then when I apply the limit, as we let the delta x go down to 0, sigma goes to integral from a to b. Delta x goes to dx, and then whatever's in here, wherever I see an xi, I replace it with x. So this is our formula for the moment about the origin. Then center of mass is just given by take your moment about the origin, divide by the total mass. And so we have this formula for the center of mass of this rod of non-uniform density. So let's look at some examples. We should verify what we already know to be true. So we're going to start with rod of length L. We're going to start with uniform density, so it'll be constant and non-zero. And we expect that our center of mass is going to wind up dead center, so at L over 2. Let's push things through. Our mass, definite integral from 0 to L of our density times dx. Density is a constant, so it pulls out in front. And then I'm just looking at integral of dx, which turns into x, evaluate at l and 0, take the difference, and that gives me rho times l. That's exactly what I expect. If I have a uniform density, the mass is just going to be the density times the length. Our moment about the origin, so it's a different formula, definite integral from 0 to l, x times the density times dx. So that's going to be constant pulls out. Any derivative of x is x squared over 2. Evaluate at l and 0, take the difference, and that gives me rho l squared over 2. 
to get the center of mass. Moment about the origin over the total mass. So we're looking at this quotient when I stick in our values. And then we notice we get L over 2 as expected. Try something a little different. Again, we're going to have a rod going from x equals 0 to x equals L. My density function is going to be rho of x equal to x. So, physically, we know we're heavier on this end. So to balance this, I'm going to have to move off the center in this direction to make sure that the moment on this side matches up with the moment on that side. Since this is heavier, I'm going to want to take away from the heavy side, give it over to the lighter side. So we'll wind up around here. All right, total mass. Definite integral from 0 to L of a density dx. The density is x, so I take the antiderivative and get 1 half x squared. Put in L and 0, take the difference. Total mass is 1 half L squared. M0, moment about the origin. Definite integral from 0 to L of x, rho x dx. That's going to be equal to definite integral from 0 to L of x squared dx. Any derivative of x squared is 1 third x cubed. Evaluate L and 0 and take the difference. Gives me 1 third L cubed. So for center of mass, I take M0 divided by the total mass. And that's going to give me 2 thirds L. So as expected, our center of mass is going to be skewed towards the right. 